what is good divine diamond squad y'all already know what's going on in this video today today man krishan rock went to church and i want to see exactly what happened here you know i seen this video on my youtube homepage, and i wanted to check it out and see exactly what's going on here and we all know how crazy krishan rock is and blueface all the toxic stuff that they have been doing on the media and Krishan Rock in church I never thought I would see in the same sentence the same title on YouTube especially okay but let's see exactly what's going on in this video man make sure you guys like comment subscribe all of that make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to today ain't Jim Bobby Teddy Uncle Joey spiritual let's get right into the video man let's get it even see my baby girl this is my baby girl I love her so dearly. She's a product of this ministry. And in spite of how my girl cut up, mm. she is my baby. That's right. And she loves Jesus. Do y'all know who this is? I'm going to say this. Despite any of our mistakes, despite toxicity that we have at periods of our lives, right? I truly believe that God forgives. I really, really do. And I do believe that if you make decisions and changes that direct yourself towards God, towards doing the right thing, right? Of course, none of us is perfect, okay? But if we say, look, even though I've done these things, I want to be better. And you work on that every single day, I believe anybody could still be vibrating on a high level. You know, I, I believe that anybody is still able to reach a higher frequency, which whenever you leave this life would be considered heaven, right? Unless you didn't kill somebody, then maybe you got some other shit you need to sort out with God before you can make it through the gates, all right? If that's what you believe in. But I do think that this right here that we're living in, this reality is a classroom, okay? It's a classroom, but it's also a playground. We're supposed to have the most fun and enjoy it as much as possible. And we're supposed to learn as much as we can from these situations that are placed in our lives. So as long as we're doing those two things, you know, I believe that we all are going to make it to where we need to make it to. And then after that, we're going to be on the next phase of our journey. So even though Krishan has her toxic ways, to me, all right, I can only say what I believe. Anybody can still make a change for the better. I'm not saying that this is what's happening because one little church session, oh, okay, yeah. And then you go back to your toxic ways. We see that happen a lot with people who show up to church every Sunday. And by the time they get out of church, they're cursing somebody out in traffic or they're cursing out the lady who accidentally brought out the wrong food or they're being rude to somebody, you know? So it takes more than going to church. Right. It takes more than saying that you believe in God or that you identify as a Christian or you identify as Baptist or Muslim or whatever it is. You have to live that and you have to continue to try to be better every single day, improve every single day, you know. But anyway, <clears throat> it's a vibe all the time. <laughs> is it? Listen to me. Listen. The Spirit of God is doing something. You better hear what I'm saying to you. And why you so easy to cast judgment. You better watch your mouth. Because you don't, just because you're acting all a certain way. Nobody knows what you're doing behind closed doors. I just said that. I just said that. You know what's so crazy to me? Cause I grew up in the church, y'all. So I can say, I can talk about this because I got experience with it. Man, growing up in the church, of course, it depends on what church you go to and all of that. Some of the most judgmental ass motherfuckers, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Some of the most judgmental ass motherfuckers, bro. You know, and in a lot of black churches as well, like, gossiping about oh what she got on and this and that and like oh she was sleeping with like are we at church or are we at the fucking love and hip-hop reunion in the crowd like looking at the people on the stage you know 
and judgmental to where like, you know, it's just, that's not of God. You're judging your brothers and sisters and not looking at your own life. You know? That's why I'd be the first to say I ain't perfect. I re react to people's videos. But at the same time, I know I done done toxic shit before. I've been a toxic one before, you know, and all of that. So, it's just observing what other people got going on. But I know I ain't perfect by any means. And I believe a lot of religions say that we should not judge, but be judging the most. It's crazy. So I love what he said there, man. Don't judge the next person. Right? Look at your own shit and how you could better your life and improve your life, you know? When the lights go out, the scripture says, train up a child. Because I cut out, I smoke more weed than ye all. <laughs> what did I just say? Where's Gloria? <laughs> Gloria, do it. stand up, Gloria. Would you testify? <laughs> Linda here too? Who smoked more weed than them all? I, who? <laughs> who? Your mama? Look, I don't smoke weed no more, but I don't have anything against anybody who wants to smoke weed, man. I, To be honest, I'd rather you smoke weed than drink alcohol. It's so good to see you. All right? Stick around, because I want to talk. Main man was just jamming. Look at you, girl. She don't need no help down the step. She right. She up all y'all. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Yeah, make some noise. She said she got some stacks for the church, man. Uh, Christian wanted to say something. Can I let her just share it? Go ahead, uh, bro. I love her so much. She said when she saw me come out, Christian, don't cuss, baby. Don't cuss. Hey. Yeah. Bless the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he just didn't give it to times and offering. That's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. So, I guess this is a little testimony, a little story. Um, I was probably like nine, and I was just, oh, I understood kind of what he was saying, and I asked questions when I was in church. And um, I was sitting next to a guy, and um, I was speaking a lot like, oh, I want to give him some money too. Like, because I was like, he was explaining how you sow a seed, and. That's okay. One thing Krishan gonna do is she gonna cry. She said when she saw me come around the corner, she missed me so much, she just cried at her seat. Mm -hmm. Are you like a dad? It's okay. It's all right. You got this. Oh, I got an eyelash in my hair. Well, I think the word it was about being a cheerful giver mm. and how like, you know, 10% belongs to God. Oh and then, my. you know, you, it could be a, a sin over that as an offering, but wow. he was just uh, receiving all these seeds from around the church while he's preaching. He, he's not limping or nothing. He, this was when he was a little younger. That uh -huh. is. Shots fired. Yeah, because what you playing with Dr. Didi like know, that? I know, I know, I know, because everybody love you, man. I better leave you alone. Yeah. So, I, I'm just like, I'm motivated. I'm amped up, and I'm just a kid. I'm just like, I understand, but I don't understand, but I can feel the presence of God. And I didn't question it. I didn't ask why, oh, why do you give him money? Or why do, you, why do people sow a seed at church? It's just the word of God. It's the truth. Uh, it's what you owe him. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm sorry. My heart is pounding. It's all right. And I didn't have nothing to give. I have nothing. And I was hungry. 
So I was, <laughs> I was ready to go for real, but then, like, I was intrigued when ties and offering came. Like, I was just ready. And I'm like, well, I wish I could pay ties and offering, but I said it out loud, and it was a guy, he like, I have $5. You want to go up and walk into him? Hmm. I was like, sure. So then I took his $5. I looked at it. I was like, this could be some McDonald's money. But then I was like, <laughs> you said what? It, it could be some McDonald's money. I was hungry. <laughs> it could be some McDonald's money. I yeah. was always hungry as a kid. I don't know. So <laughs> I'm like, okay. Okay, Lord, let's go. So then I went up and I tried to hurry back to my seat after giving him the $5. He like, come over here. And then I was like, yes. He's like, yes, what? And then I was like, yes. He like, who, you don't have any manners? I was like, no. Did he like, <laughs> yes, sir. I said, yes, sir. He like, he was just like <laughs> feeling me out like, <laughs> and then he just turned around and gave all the sees that everybody was on the whole service. All the money that people brought to me. And then just, I gave it to you. Yeah. And then you asked me what I was going to do with it. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I'm going to pay my ties and but it was like a clear understanding. And I couldn't explain what it was. But it was so like, it was beautiful. I will never take that memory. I always been a cheerful giver. I don't live in Maryland no more. Yeah. And <laughs> you need to be home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um yeah. I was just waiting for ties and offering and then he's about to exit out. Like, where's the ties and offering at? <laughs> So I'm going to say something when I would go to church, every time I would go to church. And even if one of my friends asked me to go, sometimes I'll go. Right. And every time I go to church, I do tithe. All right. And every time I tithe, one thing that I realized was every time I tithe, y'all, it came back. Every time I tithe, I kid y'all not, man, I got more money in return. And I didn't just tithe because of that. I really tithe because I was given from the heart, you know. And I think it's very important to take some of your income and tie to whatever you feel is adding value to your life. If it's church, do that. If it's an organization, if it's feeding the homeless, if it's whatever it is, something that brings your heart joy, something that you know you're getting a benefit out of. I know some people speak down on it and say, oh, the churches, you know, the pastors are wearing, you know, Louis Vuitton and Gucci and all of this shit too. At the end of the day, guys, church is a business as well, right? Church is a business. So don't get it twisted, you know, don't get it twisted. But as long as you are giving from the right space in your heart, guys, God is going to look out for you, you know? Point blank period. But it was just a word, like, for it right, right now, I really can't remember word from word because I was a kid, but my spirit remembered the moment. Okay, okay, so what's that stack in your hand for? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sowing a seed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and tithes and offering. It's yeah. a big-ass seed, she's on. But it's an offering because I already paid my tithes and offering. You, you see, you see, y'all out here making these judgments. I was also going to say this, too. If you go to church and all of that, right? I'm just thinking about all the hundreds, right? And thousands of dollars that are thrown up in the club, in the strip club, all right? And I ain't gonna lie, I done throw my share of money in the strip club too. But just the total night and day difference of throwing money in a strip club and actually taking that money and maybe feeding the homeless or maybe taking that money and doing something you know, that'll feed your spirit. I'm not trying to say there's anything wrong with going to the strip club and enjoying yourself because I definitely do that, right? But if you just think about like, man, if I can throw money in the strip club, there's no reason why I can't. If you go to church, if you're a church goer, there's no reason why you shouldn't tithe. There's no reason why you shouldn't donate a certain percentage of your income to a cause that you really believe in something that will feed your spirit like i said man and just watch how god shows up in ways that you would never thought of you know you, you really don't even know what okay okay do i like it when you take care of other people god will take care of you do i like what our children are into today 
<laughs> I'm not going to let it throw me off what God said to me <laughs> about my children. Oh, Jesus, remember these words found in 2 Corinthians chapter number 5, verse 7. For... see something that their actions won't produce. You got to look beyond their behaviors and stick with your belief. What do you believe? My children are the righteousness of God. You see where she is today? You see what she... But if you put your mouth on them incorrectly, you assist Satan in derailing their destiny. Because greatness is in this one right here. And you shall see. And y'all also have to realize that greatness is within you. Greatness is within all of us. We are great. Even if we didn't have the money. Even if we didn't have, you know, love for ourselves, greatness is still within all of us. And that's one of the great things in life is to realize that we are great no matter what we don't have, right? No matter who we are, we feel like we are not. No matter if we feel like we're a nobody, we were born great. We were born into greatness because we are born from God, of God. God is within us. So how can we not be great? Does that even make sense for God to create something that's not great? Does that not make, does that make any sense at all to you? Now, the beautiful thing about this life is we are able to make our own conscious decision. Ain't that crazy that we are able to make our own conscious decisions? And God created us so that we could make our own decisions and have free will to do what we want to do and live how we want to live. That's a beautiful thing. But don't ever get it twisted that we are not great. We were born from greatness. We were born from the greatest right god is within all of us how can we not be great so anytime that you're feeling down on yourself you have to remember that you come from god god is within you so how could you ever lose you were not born to lose you were born to win and the only reason why you're not winning in life is because you don't see that because you're believing the lie that you're a loser and that you cannot win because, oh, you know, in math class, I wasn't good. Or, oh, my teacher said I would never be shit. Or, oh, my parents disowned me. Or, oh, this and that and the other. We allow our previous traumas to make us feel like we're a failure. When we were born great and we were born to be winners. You got to know the truth and erase the lies and reprogram your mind to think in ways that will benefit you right <laughs> and not hinder you from the success that you want in every aspect of your life you mock my word it's a setup for the kingdom of god and they may take the wrong route like i took the wrong route <laughs> don't laugh Christian. and my sisters are stand, stand up here and tell you man mike he was so way off there's no way I'm supposed to be sitting in this position, position based upon what they saw. There's no way she's supposed to be standing on this stage by me after what some Come of y'all see. God will do it, man. But you don't even understand. God. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> it's orchestrating every plan. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Won't he do it? What I just say, man. God uses us. It doesn't matter what we've been through. It doesn't matter what we've done. We all made mistakes, man. Some maybe look bigger than others, but what he say? No sin is greater than another, right? We all gonna fall short. It's about what we do from there. It's about how we better ourselves from there. How we improve. From there, you know, like our intentions from there. Will it, won't it? So if you want to give today, then by all means, there are ways you can give. 
I thought she was bringing that stack. That stack is wrapped too. I thought she was bringing that stack up there. And there's another famous cat. Don't be digging around, girl. She got another stack up in there too. I got mine too. Chris Sean. What? That's how you gave it to me. Wait a minute. That's how you gave it to me. Right, fan yourself with this shit. Hello, can you hear me now? I know it's hot up there. Are you kidding me, girl? Are you sure? Yeah, that's what the Lord put in my heart, so I'm gonna be obedient. Okay, now let's clarify who this is for. This tithes and offering, or you laying it on me? Yeah, <laughs> facts. Let me know. You gotta pay your tithes and offering. I would have to pay my tithes, but <laughs> this could be your tithe. Let's make it your tithe. You already did what? I paid my tithes and offering. You paid your tithes and offering? <laughs> that was just cash in my pocket. Mm. This is just cash. Things. This is cash in your pocket? African American. Christian. Yeah. I tell you what, get some ideas if you want to. Thanks. <laughs> Pull the strap on your you ass got, real you got, quick. You got that thing with you? Yeah. Okay, all right. Got to. You walk me to my car. Mm. <laughs> no, y'all gonna start seeing more of this. You mock my word. You better get where you belong. Stop thinking like God ain't doing something. Should do it again. <laughs> Okay, come on with the copyright, though, man. Hold on. Stop it. I don't know when you're going to give, how you're going to give. It's out of control at this point. Mm -hmm. Pardon me? Come here, baby. You take care of it. Come on, Dr. D. Take the money. Yeah. Lay your hands on my baby. Hug her. The protection of the Almighty God. Continues to surround them. The baby covered them. Blue face cover him. Cover him up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Satan, every plan. Cover up that baby too, Lord. Oh my God, I already feel bad for the baby. It's over. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give him instruction, baby. Hey, the information should be on the screen on how to give. Can you all put that? All right, man. And when I, I pay my tithes and offer my orders and step, like, my, my steps are already ordered. And it was things and changes that I wanted to make. And I was just like, God, I know what I'm doing. I'm robbing myself, but while I'm robbing myself, I'm robbing you. So, like, my steps will get, like, annoying. It's, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's yeah. relax. And, uh, I went back in my little zone as a cheerful giver, and everything just started. Yeah, it makes sense. So, Ties and offering is not something you just do for the church. It's something that you and God has an understanding with. You're giving to the kingdom, and that should, that's the only thing that should matter, for real. So, yeah, that's the only thing that works. I'm telling you, I gave somebody else $5, not my $5, and then, like, wow. I don't know, the Lord just like, it stuck to me from that day. And I don't even know, you told me my manners for like two seconds long and then I just looked at you guys like a, I don't know. It's okay, baby. We got it. We got it. We got you. 
All right, man. Well, tithing is just giving with good intentions. You know, if you put, if you have a positive purpose and the reason why you're giving, if you're giving from your heart, it's always going to come back tenfold. And you're not just doing it for it to come back, but you're doing it because it makes your spirit feel good. You know, so whether that be tithing to the church, tithing to a charity, tithing to some homeless people that you see, tithing to even maybe your parents or tithing to a mentor that has helped you just tithing to something that has added value to your life right and makes your spirit feel good just know that that always comes back and it always feels good to give but anyway guys let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below shout out to Krishan, you know like she falls short just like all of us do just in different ways you know what i'm saying maybe on a more extreme type of thing but at the end of the day like i said man we are all born to be great we are all born to win sometimes we lose sight of that that's why i'm here to be the reminder for y'all man if you are falling short or if you're feeling like you're not where you want to be or whatever the case is man just know you are born to be great you are of god you are from god god is within you and the sooner that you stop believing the lies that you tell yourself and you start repro reprogramming your mind to believing the truth about who you are, where you're from, right? And who is within you, I'm telling you, you will be unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. I love you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend today. Ain't your mama today, Uncle Joe. He's spiritual. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.